Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And a lot to be excited about because coming up for you, action from Liga. It is Nice and they take on Lille. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he can score goals in many different ways, but I think he's at his most dangerous when he's running with the ball and hitting his shots yeah. with power. It's almost unstoppable for the goalkeeper. That's what makes him a great finisher. Well, here's how it looks for Nice. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. And so the initial 11 for Lille. Well, 4-4-2 against 4-4-2, that certainly takes me back. But I think this will come down to who wins the battle in central midfield, because there's four very good players in there. And now they get the ball rolling. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Burak Yilmaz. Here's Renato Sanchez. Botman. Every pass hitting its target. Isham Budawi. A running room in the wide position. The cross is on. And clears his lines. Renato Sanchez. And space for them here on the flank. Sanchez. Bamba. And mopping up defensively. Budawi. Pablo Rosario. Patient build-up at the moment. Chance to cross. It might be on for them. He got in the way of that cross. It's a neat move. Terrific block. Couldn't hang on to it. Pablo Rosario using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball oh a vital interception it's opening up for them chance to play it in Clivert Here's Kleibert. And the danger is still there. Alert defending.
Renato Sanchez. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. On to Turam. Andy Delors. Here's Kleibert. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. Jonathan David. André. Here's Renato Sanchez. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Amin Guiri. Clivert. Can they nudge in front? Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? <laughs> Delivering it. Not really the ideal clearance. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Now with Turam. And teammates to play it to. But nothing doing in an attacking sense. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. So, an own goal, and now they are chasing this game. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Jose Font. And it's Andre now. Renato Sanchez. Sanchez. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Now can they counter clinically? They need to get bodies back. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Spot on with that tackle. 30 minutes left for play. Bamba. On and on he goes. Bamba. Andre with it. Oh, it might be. And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. And we'll play having stopped. A chance for the referee to go back and hand out the caution. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match.
Lemina. Pablo Rosario. Here's Lemina. Lemina. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Intelligent threaded pass here. Well, he's lost it. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Clivert. That was perfectly timed. And it is going to be a corner. They will make the change now. Delivering it. Well, it was never really going to be of concern to the keeper, that one. Renato Sanchez and there to intervene oh he looks threatening well he really read that brilliantly David given away again So almost at full time and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack. And of course, they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. And just five minutes remaining. Well, still time for them to level it. This looks promising. Can he do it? In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And the electronic board lets the fans know three minutes of stoppage time. Pressure on to clear his lines. Clivert. Lemina. Pablo Rosario. A glorious chance. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Well, they fancy a short one and played in and dealt with that ball comfortably the referee blows for full time it ends at a victory for the home team no complaints from the fans here well Derek it was very competitive chances at both ends but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory
All in all, he did plenty of good things in the game. Well, I thought he was well marked today, but it did give other players that little bit more space to play, and they certainly made the most of it. That's why they got the victory.